Using ggplot and gganimate to create animated GIFs and movies from your data to present and visualize your data is super duper easy. You're gonna love this, let's do it. My name is Greg Martin. Welcome back to R Programming 101. In this video, we're gonna do four different plots. They're all animated plots. You can see on the screen at the moment, um, you're gonna find all of them easy to do and I'm gonna walk you through the code using R Programming. Stick with me, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R Programming videos on everything. Okay, we're in our studio. There's a couple of packages that you need to have in mind when you do all of this. Obviously the tidyverse that includes ggplot. I'm not gonna talk about that now. You know all about the tidyverse. gganimate you may not have. So you might need to use install packages as you know to install gganimate, but get it in there. You're gonna use this, you're gonna love it. Baby names is just to get the data. Gapminder is to get that data about countries. We're gonna look at that in, in a few seconds. Veritas is for colors, and I'm gonna make a separate video about the this color, these set of color palettes. They're quite nice. And our color brewer, you guys should know about uh, for colors. I'm not gonna talk a lot about the actual code, okay, when it comes to the, the ggplot code. I'm assuming that you know and understand how to use ggplot. If you don't, please watch my other videos. It's very exciting stuff. But if you don't know how to use ggplot, then creating animations is a little bit out of your league. Come back to this when you're familiar with and you're comfortable with regular garden variety ggplot coding. The baby, we'll start with the baby names, right? And here's the baby names data. Now, importantly, we've got a variable called year. So we're gonna plot this by year. So it's important to just take note of the sort of time frames that we're gonna be using. Otherwise, we've got data about the names of babies, how many of them had that name, uh, the sex of the babies and the proportions. We're not gonna use all of those variables, but we'll use some of them. Let's, I'm not gonna go through this ggplot data. I'm assuming that you know and understand how to create a plot. Um, and everything right up until this last line is just regular bog standard garden variety ggplot. If I ran the data up until this last line, you would see a line plot on the screen right now. And in fact, let's do that. Okay, so let's run that. Boom shakalaka. A bog standard ggplot plot on the screen right now. Nothing complicated about that. If I add in a plus here, and I add in this line of code right here, transition reveal year. Transition reveal is the function that comes from ggAnimate. And the argument in the function is year, and that is the variable that it's gonna to use to create each frame of the GIF. Got it? Okay, so we run this data and boom shakalaka, we've got an animated GIF. The next thing I wanna teach you is how to get the title of your plot to change to, you know, the actual title to change with the frames according to the variable, you know, the observation that you're using for the different time frames or timestamps. Okay, not difficult to do. And let's take a look at the code. Okay, this is the gap minded data. And if we look at the gap minded data set over here, we've got countries, continents, year. Keep in mind, year, that's gonna be important for us because we're doing this by time. Life expectancy, population, and GDP per capita. GDP per capita is an indication of the wealth of a particular country or how well its economy is doing. And as you can imagine, we're trying to look at the relationship in this particular plot of increasing GDP per capita and life expectancy, but we won't get into that right now. Let's look at the code to create our plot. Um, here we've got, um, and again, not going through all of the ggplot coding here, but it's pretty standard, bog, bog standard stuff. But this is where you gotta focus. This is what matters here. This line of code right here. We've got, in, under labels, we've got title equals year, colon, so that's gonna appear on the screen, happy days. And then curly brackets, open and close curly brackets with time frame inside. And down below, again, we've got our transition time by year. Now notice, when this time, time frame isn't a variable. So what's happening here? R knows to look down at this transition time year function. And the argument there within is year and to insert the year from whatever frame is being produced at that point in time into the title label. Does that make sense? Right, so if it's the year 2000 down here, if that's the particular frame that's being created from the variable year, that's the argument inside the time frame, it will take that 2000 and pop it into the title and we'll see that over here. Okay, boom shakalaka, pretty easy going, nothing too complicated about that, but it's a nice little trick and I think it makes a big difference to your animation. The next animation is exactly the same data set. This is the gap minded data set. And again, we've done the same thing with year at the top with the title. 
um, and we faceted out the data by continent. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through the data in detail, but basically everything that you need to know is on the screen at the moment, and you can do this at home with the gap-minded data if you'd like to. Again, I've got transition time year, and again, I've got year curly brackets time frame to put that into the title. Okay, so boom shakalaka, let's keep going. The last animation I want to show you is a bar plot. In this case, we're using the check weight data. Uh, different chickens are given different diets and they're measured over time and we can see that different chickens on different diets grow and gain weight at different rates. Quite nice to visualize. In this case, our timestamp isn't given by a day to a year in the data, it's just time is given as a number, so it's a little less elegant. Let's look at the code. Here's the code, check weight data. Let's, the, here's the check weight data up here. This is built into R. You can replicate what I'm doing at home because you have access to this data. I'm not gonna go through the ggplot code. Everything that is in here is exactly the same as before. We're using transition time, and the argument there within is time, which is one of the variables in the check weight data to produce the animation, to produce the various frames of the animation. A couple of things just to keep in mind if, as you use this uh, GG Animate, you can save your animations, right? So you can say anim save, and you can save it as a GIF. I just put dot .gif at the end, then it'll be on your hard drive and you can use it in any way that you would like. This is a really, really nice feature. I hope you enjoy this. I'm gonna make other videos about GG Animate in the future because there are other functions that come with it. I find this transition time and then the argument there within actually does most of what we need, but there are other things that it can do. So we'll look at that in another video. Stay and watch another video. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, make a comment, like, share, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thanks for watching. Wim shakalaka. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.